What's up and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be installing and reviewing these universal seat covers. Now when I think of seat covers I think of those crappy pullover loose fitting seat covers you get from Walmart or AutoZone. But when Cover Auto reached out and wanted to send me a set I looked at their Amazon reviews and I was intrigued. Now when I got these in the mail I was very surprised that it came in its own little zippered case and they are actually feel really nice and padded and thick and Full leather. We've got headrests and bottom seat covers, front seats, and rear seats. We've also got, looks like a bunch of little plastic clips and some installation instructions with lots of pictures. For the front seat backrest, you unsnap the top of these seat covers and then pull it over the top and pull it all the way down. And then you can snap these covers back on. Also tuck the seat cover underneath the headrest cover too. That way it looks like it's part of the seat. First impressions, these do fit pretty well. Especially once I get these clips in, it should pull this nice and tight. And they do look nice. The next piece that goes on headrest cover which slides over and then this back flap is velcro you can tuck it up underneath and pull it as tight as you can let's take it on the headrest does not fit nearly as tight but let's see once it's down into place it blends in pretty well To secure the backrest seat cover, you use these little plastic clips, and there should be three elastics, and you just wrap it inside each elastic. Two, three, and then you're gonna tuck this down in between the backrest and the seat. And then we'll be able to get it from the back side and lock it in place. So when they're poking through, we can fold these up. That way it can't fall back down. And then on this seat cover, there's these two elastic straps. You're just gonna wrap them around each one of the two sides, these plastic covers, and that'll just keep it from sliding back up. With the bottom part of these seat covers, you've got two clips on each side, and these are gonna wrap around the bottom of the seat and through the back and clip together. There's also these two front elastics, which we'll put these metal clips on. One, two. And those are gonna latch underneath. I'll slide it through. Open this up, wrap it through. That'll lock them in place. Slide the elastic through, open it up, and lock it in place. Now, when these are underneath, we'll be able to clip these underneath the seat and hold it.
these two clips are going to slide under the seat where the other three plastic retainers went. And then these two are going to go on the side of this seat. One there and one there. That way we can grab those. And so what we'll do is we'll take these two clips, clip those together, and that'll keep the front from being able to slide out. So it's gonna be very dark, but I ended up clipping those two metal hooks on the seat cross member to hold this front in place. They're very comfortable, very padded, and by the looks of it, it is perforated, so it shouldn't interfere with the airbags at all. And overall, they fit pretty good for being universal covers, and they look nice, and they're gonna be a lot easier to clean up than cloth seats. So let me get the other side installed, and then we'll move on to the back seat. All right, I have both seat covers installed now. The seat cover took about five minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer to get the seat cover installed. Overall, I'm really happy with the way they fit. The only thing I don't like is the headrests. I know they're universal headrests. I'm sure if you got one for your specific vehicle, they'd fit a lot better, but they're kind of loose and fit kind of like a helmet. But the seat covers themselves fit very well and they look very nice. But we have to see how the wife feels because this is mainly her car. What do you think? These are actually really nice. Oh, my back's gonna feel so good. Yeah. A little better than the cloth seats? Yeah, so much better. I what? like this. It's what? just air. Feels yeah. like it. Yeah, it's just a little pocket okay. padding. I'm ready for road tripping. All right. We gotta do the back seats. Okay. So. The back seats, not as straightforward as the front seats. You actually have to, well, you don't have to. The best way to do it is to take the back seat out. That way, these straps here, you can crisscross underneath the seat. If you don't take the back seats out, you take one of these plastic clips and you actually wrap this around here a few times and then you can wedge it underneath the back seat but I would much rather take my back seat out or at least loosen it so I can get underneath and cross these so it has no chance of coming back out so what we'll do is you wrap it around like this and then underneath here we're gonna take these back clips and cross them Underneath, there's one, there's two. That way, when the seat's back down, it has no chance of sliding anywhere. This clip over here, we'll put in afterwards. This is gonna get one of those little plastic things and we'll wedge it down in here so it can't come back out. But we can do that once it's installed. Other side is gonna go on the exact same way. Crisscrossed in the middle, one, Two. Then we just need to go get the middle piece. This middle piece opens up. Goes right in the middle. Tuck this under here, which goes down to that. And then this piece folds over the middle like that. Everyone's back seat's gonna be a little bit different. So the best option is just gonna be to look underneath yours and figure out what the best place to hook it onto is going to be. The tighter you can get the seat, the better it's gonna look in the end. All right, back seat's back in. The thing I really don't like is there's no cutouts for the seat belts. So the only thing you can do is have it all crumpled up because of where these seat belts come out in this car. They don't come in through the back. They come in from the seat itself. So 
it ends up being all crumpled up and pushed in and there's no way around that back ones most vehicles the back seats fold forward so this shouldn't be too big of a deal unlike the front seats with snaps these have zippers to go up over the headrests i have not figured out looks like let me do this and we'll raise this headrest up and this zips back up and then this I think goes over the headrest this loops around and clips back to itself actually I'm just gonna hook it onto the back of the headrest We should be able to tuck this in, put the seatbelt up forward. The bottom gets these little plastic pieces again. That seems to be the fastening method of choice for these. Then we can tuck these back in here. Back in there. Should be able to fold this forward and grab these from the back. One and two. Fold this back up. And tuck this side in seatbelt it has a strap here but the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you disconnect the seatbelt seatbelt and then we'll tuck this side in and tuck this in like so just like that similar to the middle on the bottom there's just this back piece that gets tucked on each side or there or there pull this down velcro that holds it to these seat covers so you want to make sure you pull it nice and tight so it doesn't stick out much it also came with this center headrest but I don't have one of those so I won't need that now that all the seat covers are in my thoughts the quality of them very nice they're thick they're padded the front seats fit really well, were really easy to install. Back seats, not nearly as easy to install, but once you get the seat out, they fit pretty good. The back seats, I would probably give a six or a seven out of 10 for a couple reasons. At least with 
this 2016 Chevy Cruze, the seat belts come out of the seat. So in order to get the seat belts, you have to bunch these seat covers up. I also can't access the cup holders or armrest anymore now that these covers are on. And to get to the anchors for the car seats, you also have to bend these out of the way because there aren't little cutouts for it. But if you need something to put on your back seat, if you've got dogs, if you've got older kids, you know, eight, nine, 10, out of car seats, I think these are really, really nice. If you have a car seat, I think it's gonna be a pain, especially if you have to take the car seat in and out. The front seats, however, I would give a much higher score. I really like these front seats. I would say these are probably more like an eight or a nine, and that's only because I'm not a huge fan of the headrests, how they fit. If they were a little tighter and didn't just hang down and actually fit better, they would probably be closer to a 10, but I'm super happy with the front seats and the back seats are gonna protect the seats pretty well. With next week being Christmas, if you guys are looking for seat covers, I don't think you can go wrong with these. They do feel really nice. Coverado also sent over a coupon code with these for 10% off. If you use the code Desert Wrench, I'll have that linked in the description as well, you'll get 10% off. Other than that, thanks for watching.